Good morning, everyone of First Lutheran. Today is the day that we would have gathered in person for our annual meeting, but of course, due to the restrictions on how many people can gather from different households, it made it impossible for us to do our normal annual meeting. Um, we are going to call a special congregational meeting once these restrictions are lifted and we're able to uh, not exclude anybody from gathering, and we'll give you an update as we look back at 2020. Um, you've received already the proposed budget. That was uh, one uh, item that the council needed to get addressed. So we sent that out to you and used the um, ability that is in our constitution to allow for absentee voting. And uh, as we record today, um, I was telling our president uh, that uh, I think we probably have the most votes we've had in a long time. We're well over 140 ballots returned um, with votes, and uh, we want to thank you for your support and, uh, and your generosity. But we do want to give you a little update uh, looking back uh, on our financials because there are some questions out there, and so our president, Darren Thompson, is with me today. I was going to allow him to preach, but we want to do this in an orderly manner. So, But Darren, I'm going to turn it over to you and let you explain a little bit on some of the financials. All right, well, thanks everybody for tuning in. Um, really unorthodox way of doing this, not our preferred method of doing this. We'd much rather see everybody gathered in the fellowship hall to where we could obviously share this information and share some fellowship, which uh, if you're like me, a lot of us are uh, needing right now. So uh, obviously, um, we've had a very difficult year, um, very strange year, and we uh, should be out there to commend our staff and, and the pastors for the job that they've done in uh, providing us with all different and numerous worship uh, opportunities. I think they, the staff here has gone above and beyond uh, what's been called for them. Um, just want to say thank you to them. Um, hopefully this next year things will not be as challenging as they've been this year, uh, but our staff has really adapted, uh, really moved forward. Um, a big thank you to all of them um, for putting in the extra effort. Um, uh, much needed, very grateful. Um, so speaking of last year's budget or, or uh, expenses and things like that, um, our, our membership, our congregation should be applauded for the uh, amount and willingness to continue to give in these difficult and unknown times. Um, we are actually through the end of December this year our giving is tw about $12,000 ahead of the year before, of 2019, uh, which is tremendous. Um, obviously, our expenses are down somewhat. Um, not a down like you would obviously think, but uh, you know we still have uh, every day the building needs to be heated, the water, utilities, and things like that are still need to be on and need to be paid. Uh, but we have seen a, a de decrease in a lot of uh, expenses, not huge amounts, but a small decrease. Um, you know, we were fortunate that uh, um, we had several members approach us and, and encourage us to apply for the PPP money. Uh, we did apply for that. Um, we were uh, given uh, a little more than $50,000. Um, that money was put into a special account uh, so that we could track all the expenses and, and everything that it was used for. Uh, it allowed us to keep and pay our uh, staff and part-time staff, um, continue to pay them. That was one of the program, uh, benefits of the program was the ability to pay these people even though they weren't working. Um, so, um, but above and beyond that, uh, it, it, it appears to be real close to about $15,000. Uh, we're going to finish the year ahead of uh, our expenses, um, even if you subtract that $50,000 out of there. Um, again, it, that all comes down to, uh, as a congregation, and how the willingness that uh, this congregation is to, to give in numerous ways. Um, it, 
whether it's financial or hours or talents, uh, it's really appreciated. Um, one thing I would stress, um, if you would like a copy of the financials, uh, the most current one is through December. Uh, we will have a full year one uh, after the February meeting. So if you would like a copy of that, all you would have to do is contact the church office and we can get that copy out to you. Um, again, this is a little different than normally doing this, um, but uh, we sat down as a church and the stewardship committee um, and proposed a budget for next year, for, for 2021, with a lot of unknowns. Uh, how do you plan for a programming budget when you're not exactly sure what you can do? So we planned out for the best case scenario that sometime in the next few months, we'll build to increase our in-building worship. We'll build to uh, take away some of the restrictions. Uh, we'll build to gather, we'll build to share the fellowship that I think many in our congregation are missing. Um, one of the things that we talked about as a council is trying to build some extra funds into the budget for the committees so that when we do come back into um, in-building worship or the ability to gather uh, in larger groups, that we have money set aside to encourage our committees to plan gatherings and fellowship opportunities for our congregation, whether it be smaller groups, whether it be all age uh, inclusive group uh, gatherings and things like that. But you know, I know one of the things that you know we missed the fish fry this last year. Uh, I'm looking forward to that we can do that again. Um, but a lot of that fellowship coming into the into the church, uh, seeing our friends, our fellow uh, members of the church, and, and conversing with them. Um, so we've actually, that was one of the things that we took into account when we were planning this budget, is we were going to set aside some extra money in each of these committees so that when that time comes, we can provide those fellowship opportunities for, for all ages um, in our congregation. Pastor Mike, you got anything to add to that? Yeah, as we look at being able to bring things back, we know it's going to be a slow but a steady process. Uh, we're excited to, starting here in February, to increase our worship attendance from a cap of 70 to now a cap of, a, of 100. Uh, we're excited to bring back our children's uh, Sunday school here in the month of February. We know moving forward that... Uh, as long as things continue the way they are, there are going to be more and more of the restrictions lifted from us. And uh, we're looking forward to, to, like Darren said, being able, probably most importantly, being able to uh, have coffee and treats and everything available and we can sit and be together. Um, we're looking forward to that day very much. But I would also like to echo what Darren said, uh, uh, just the wonderful generosity of you, the members of First Lutheran. Uh, you have sustained us through this uh, time, uh, not just financially, but your generosity of, of care, of reaching out to, to the staff to make sure that we're doing all right, and uh, just giving us words of encouragement and support. Um, it's meant the world to all of us, and uh, as we continue to move forward, we, we thank you for your patience and your understanding as we try new and different things. We've got you know, Holly, when she joined our staff, never anticipated that she would be the woman behind a camera. But she's up there doing a great job for us this, <laughs> today as well. Everybody's just kind of doing whatever needs to be done to make sure that we can still be the church. So I guess moving forward, uh, you know, obviously, we're not going to go line for line through the budget. Uh, we sent out copies, like Pastor Mike said. We've had a great response so far from people uh, sending in their ballots. Um, we're hoping that, you know, maybe some things, the reasons why we did some things or the reasons that you see the budget for next year proposed for what it is, is maybe a few things that we said today will answer some of those questions. Uh, I know there's been questions as, oh, can we delay the annual meeting? Um, unfortunately, in our bylaws and constitution, we cannot. Uh, it did enable us to do an absentee ballot, um, so we're, we're moving ahead with that. Uh, we, it did allow us 
to move our nominating and, uh, and election of new officers and committees uh, to, a, to a future uh, time frame. Uh, we, were, we were pleasantly optimistic and hopeful that uh, a few of the people that were getting off of uh, the council would be willing to sit until the replacement was, was uh, found. They have graciously agreed to that. We thank them for that. Um, but we're hoping, you know, April that we can gather um, in a special meeting and uh, approve um, the nominations and the committees and the council seats that are open. Um, but yeah, so as, as far as again, like the budget uh, went, pretty close to last year's budget. Uh, as a guide, um, we, like I said, a lot of unknowns. Not sure when or how we will fulfill all of uh, the needs of everybody, but you know we've hopefully set a budget that we can attain. Um, and with your generosity, I think that's easily uh, accessible. Um, and like I said, we we didn't have the the, the fair stand this year. Uh, that's usually a great money maker for us, but. We didn't spend any of, the, any of the previous revenue from the fair stand, so we do have that left over. Um, so we're fortunate that way. But like I said, we've got opportunities. We're financially stable. Um, we're gonna be in a good position to offer um, opportunities to provide worship and fellowship in new ways and exciting ways this next year. Uh, you know, we, we've talked for years about having some type of online um, worship. Uh, Home and below, behold, we had to just jump in, you know, to the water with, without a life preserver on, really. Um, and uh, things have turned out great. Uh, we've got great viewership. Uh, we're hoping to tweak some of that this next year uh, as some of the restrictions open up, give us some more opportunities to provide some more um, and different ways of doing the online worship. Uh, we will take suggestions. Um, uh, you know, it's a, it's a growth, uh, pro growing process for us. Uh, but, you know, again, I'd like to commend the staff for just doing an op absolute outstanding job of, of trying new things, thinking outside the box. Um, you know, I can't say enough about that. The, the staff that we have here is, is is wonderful. They're thoughtful, they're compassionate. Um, so I look forward to this next year of growing the new things that we started. I mean, who thought we'd be doing a parking lot worship every week? You know, uh, we're doing drive-through communion. Uh, um, things that you just didn't think that we'd, we'd incur or ever experience. Um, and maybe in, in the long run, um, it's shaken us out of our ruts that we're in, and we've found some new and exciting opportunities. And online worship, uh, Pastor Mike and I have talked about this, we're reaching people outside of our congregation, which I think is exciting. Uh, that we're touching the lives of people that are just not in Sox Center or Melrose or, or the surrounding area, but we're touching people outside of that area. Um, and, and, you know, we look forward to, to you know, providing that opportunities for other people like that. So um, I guess, uh, you know, my thoughts were, uh, you know, if you have questions um, about the budget, uh, if, again, if you want a copy of the financials, uh, just reach out to the church office. And, uh, you know, um, we'll be here, uh, and we'll try to answer as many as we can. Um, we're going to move forward into next year with uh, a lot of hope, uh, you know, um, and and look forward to sitting down and seeing everybody's smiling faces again. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> well, we hope uh, this these few minutes we've had uh, this morning helped you. But again, if you have questions, as Darren said, please don't hesitate to uh, reach out to us. Uh, we will get you the information. Um, as soon as we can, and, uh, and as Darren said, we look forward to the day we're all able to regather back without any restrictions here at the church. But until then, 
It's become our saying, and we embrace it wholeheartedly. Wherever you are, remember, you are the church, wherever you may be. Take care, everybody. We'll see you soon. Thank you.